guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Tina and today we are exploring ColourPop. I made a massive order on Labor Day weekend that cost me a whole whopping like 35 bucks. And so we are going to go through those items and do a look with them. Um, you will be able to see my haul listed up there and down there. Please check those out. As always, if you enjoy this video, please like and subscribe. We'd love to see you again on my channel. So let's get right into it. I have all sorts of shadows that I showed in the haul. I have a couple of base shade options. Um, this kind of pearl essence matte. It looks matte, but the minute I put it on my hand, it looks shimmery, um, which is really interesting and pretty, but not exactly what I'm looking for. So I think I'm going to use this sort of mustardy brown one and we're gonna stick that all over my lid and I'm just gonna use a crease brush for that so I already have down a primer um, my Elizabeth Mott think me later I have a base layer of paper tiger it looks like that down. And now I'm gonna take this shimmery shade, shimmery matte, maybe it's a pearl or something, and going rogue, and I'm just gonna put that across the lid down here a little bit. Now I'm gonna grab some of these Super Shock shadows, and I think I'm gonna take this really deep matte brown and mittens, it looks like that. And I'm gonna put that in my crease. These shadows are super pigmented. They don't blend as easily as some shadows do. Um, some of them, their mattes specifically don't seem to blend as easily. They're still very nice shadows, they just, something to keep in mind. I have some deepening in my crease and now I'm gonna grab really pretty pigmented bronzy shimmery shade and I'm gonna stick that sort of below it and try to blend into it. gonna fill in this outer corner right here with it because I'm sort of loving that reflect and these do blend really really nicely so that was the color so quiche and now I'm gonna grab Cricut that looks like that also one of these reflex and I'm just gonna sort of take that all over my lid, pat it on with my fingertip, just to try to bring out as much of that shimmer as I can. After doing that, I'll just take my brush and sort of blend around. And I'm gonna grab this uh, Cheek and Super Shock, or Super Shock High Five cheek color that looks like that. Um, I noticed when I used it the other day, you need to use a very light hand, so you wanna use a very loose brush. So that looks like more like a blush topper to me. I'm gonna take my Papa Dump Peach and put that down first. And then I will grab that and just Put that right over the top as a blush topper. It may be my skin tone. I don't know, but it just sort of seems to be absorbing right into my makeup and not really leaving anything. Um, and I don't believe that's a highlight. It doesn't say it's a highlight. I have this uh, ColourPop eyeliner. And this is a cream gel liner in DTLA. And this glides on really nicely onto my waterline. The real test is gonna be, does it stay there? 
um, because for me, stuff in my waterline doesn't like to stay there, but it does go onto it really easily. Just doing the outer little bit with this. And then I'm gonna use a flesh color, beige color. Uh, Beauty For Real has this color here that's called champagne that works perfectly for me. So I will use it. I'm gonna take mittens and I'm just gonna take a really thin brush, sort of line my, or rim, whatever you wanna call it, my lower lash line. I'm gonna go back with the going rogue color um, that looks, this looks really matte in the pan, but when I put it on, it turns into almost a highlight shade for me. Put that in my inner corner and waterline or, and everything. Do my brow bone. Now, because of the way these are, they really do apply best with your finger. This formula was obviously intended for use with your fingers. Um, I think I've heard that before. I should have done some research. Yeah, I'm gonna put a light coating of going, or Lash Renegade by Wet n Wild on my lashes. And then I'm going to curl them. So I have one layer on just one small layer and we let that dry down and now i'm just going to curl my lashes it's an amazing trick or whatever you want to call it because it really does make your lashes just stay like that for hours and hours and hours it's super shimmery wow um, maybe that is a highlight. It doesn't say it's a highlight. It just says pearlized. And this Papa Don't Peach is pearlized, so I just assumed it was a blush blush. Um, but it seems to be working more almost as a highlight or blush topper for me. And I'm gonna grab Millionaire. I think that's what this is. Yeah, Millionaire, which is a gold coin look. Really pretty. And I'm going to Sort of line my lower lash line and smudge a little bit with it. Ooh, I like this color. Now I have one more color that I was saving to last because I just fell in love with it. It's this Party of Five um, Super Shock Shadow, and it's this color here. As you can see, I've been playing with it a lot. Now I'm just gonna put that on my finger and right in the center of my lid. And I think it's gonna look really pretty with those other shades. Look at that color, oh. And really, they do seem to do best with your finger. So this is this mauve color in, I don't know, I can't tell what the heck that says. A really corally kind of I don't know how to describe it it's pink but it's not like a just straight pink okay so I have my lashes on and now I'm just gonna put a little bit more mascara on my lower lashes yeah this pink is dried down to something I'm not like crazy about In my opinion this color party of five is a stunning lip color. Reflect is really in right now. I mean, I, I paid like 20 bucks for a lip topper to give me a similar effect from Urban Decay that I love. I mean, no doubt about that. It was totally worth the money. But, you know, five, six bucks, and these are amazing. I really like ColourPop. Um, I hadn't really used them before. They hadn't really been on my radar. Um, until I started using Instagram. <laughs> and when I started using Instagram, it was everywhere. And I was like, well, what is that? And I saw, looked up some reviews on YouTube and everybody was just raving about it. And I gotta admit, I mean, this is a brand totally worth the hype, especially for the money. I think I'm gonna put on some NYX eyeliner. 
I have really been enjoying these. You are best using your fingers. If you don't like to use your fingers, you can use a brush, but they don't apply as well. Not even close to as well. If you enjoy using your fingers, you're gonna love those shadows and the way that everything goes on. Um, it'll look beautiful on you. You know, it's all gonna be up come down to what tools you prefer to use and how you like to things to apply um they have a really interesting feel to them they don't feel like you would expect a shadow to because they have that cream to powder sort of feel it doesn't come up like a powder at all it it will indent when you touch it that's what i mean by spongy it is beautiful but it isn't going to it is something you're going to have to probably take a few minutes and get to know and work with. If you have nails, you're probably going to have some issues. And that's where a brush like this is going to come in really handy. A flat shader brush is really going to make life a lot easier with these shadows. Uh, but the problem I have is that they're mattes because they can't be made of the same formula and are much, I mean, trying to blend out a matte with your fingers isn't quite the same as using a shimmer like that. The ones were spongy. These ones are not. They're definitely powdery. So you can see on my finger that it just looks like a regular shadow. And that's, you know, fine and everything. Just be aware, just be aware. And this color here on the screen when I had seen it, I thought this was super yellow. It is kind of got a yellow cast to it that's certainly not yellow. I don't know, maybe it was my fault, but what I had seen, I thought that was pretty yellow and it's not. So I hope you guys enjoyed this look and this review. When I get to 100 subscribers, I'm going to do a giveaway. Um, I've been saving products. I have several Smashbox products already and a little Smashbox bag. That should be soon. So let's hope that happens and like I said, like, share, and subscribe so you can be part of the giveaway. And I will talk to you guys later. Have a good night. Bye.